Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first game. I'm uh, G.I. Jones. I'm here with... I'm Captain Motorboater. Captain Motorboat, that's right. We're going to get this game started, obviously, with the whole shebang of the opening ceremonies. We're a little delayed. The game is going to start at 9, but obviously it is not. We are going to wait and let the officials shake out, let the teams get out on the track and warm up. Reminder, all day long, every game starts on the hour. So we have an hour, but the games are only half an hour. That's right, so we should have about 30 minutes between each game that'll handle all the warm-ups, all the fun things that need to happen in between each game, but we will stay on point, we will be on time. So make sure you're in your seats and ready to watch the amazing action that's coming out of this 2016 Men's Roller Derby World Cup. That's right, up first on here, track two, is Canada against Germany. It's gonna be wild and wacky. We've got a whole bunch of players from both teams. Of course, both teams um, playing things tactical, not putting all of their players out on the first games. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you are interested in track two's game, you have Australia taking on Belgium at 9 a.m. We are here on track one, Canada versus Germany. So of course, yeah, 50-50 chance of getting the track right, and I picked the wrong one. We are on track one, don't mind me. I just got here, as everyone else did. I am definitely not from Calgary, and uh, I definitely don't know these tracks by heart. Track one's the best track, you know that. That's why we're on it. I mean, track two doesn't even matter. If you want to hear Bud and I announcing all weekend, stay on track one. I don't even know where track two is, I couldn't I, tell you. Is there even a track two? So we see lots of fans out in the crowd. How many people here for Team Canada? Okay, obviously not everybody went and got their Tim Hortons this morning. How many people here for Team Germany? Good stuff. We're just going to get this uh, practice down, get the officials in place. Mayor Nenshi is ready to go. He has his official whistle. But it'll be a few minutes before we start game time in 7 minutes and 10 seconds.
river. Check and nerves can hear them. You, I imagine? Just about. <laughs> Very good. On the track right now, we're watching Team Germany warm up. Team Germany here against Team Canada, getting things kicked off this morning. Bright and early, we'll have 9 o'clock start. We're almost like that. We're on derby time, so that's good. Absolutely. Um, we do hope you enjoyed the opening ceremony. It was absolutely brilliant to see all the teams come out um, and do their sort of laps of honour. And the response from the audience was absolutely phenomenal, really yeah. building the atmosphere in here. Yeah, and all of, any of you out there have ever been to inter international tournaments or just a regular tournament or championship, you know the crowds that turn out. And this is a Thursday morning in uh, Calgary, Alberta, and there's a fantastic crowd here. The energy is incredible for this time of day. It was, uh, it was pretty goosebumpy as the teams got announced. Absolutely. It just really blown away and sort of the reactions uh, for a lot of the teams that skated in the first Men's Roller Derby World Cup back in 2014 in Birmingham, England, um, particularly Argentina, who came with a very small team last time around, I believe eight or nine skaters. Um, they got a rousing, uh, a really rousing reception um, and Team Japan as well of note who we all like intensely enjoyed <laughs> watching um, basically evolve over the weekend. We, we got to see the evolution of Roller Derby right before our very eyes, that, and it was phenomenal. That was. I think that, I think that encapsulated the whole energy of that weekend was Team Japan. I watched as much as I could yeah. on the feed, as some of you are watching today right now mm -hmm. with us, and we're going to provide all the information to you to, to try to help you feel through those lane, <laughs> lanes and lines what it's like here where we're sitting this trackside here at uh, the Men's World Cup of Roller Derby 2016. Total a uh, whole bunch of teams here this year, but also some teams that are um, new teams that weren't seated. Absolutely. And, and uh, uh, I'm going to run down my list when I find it. So <laughs> very careful notes. I, 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 I can tell you that Mac <laughs> has so much paperwork next to us here. Um, he's going through. Uh, we're seeing Team Germany have finished their warm up. They're now taken to their bench. So we will see Team Canada taken to the track to warm up. Yeah, well, yeah, Team Canada had their warm-up actually before we came on the air here, so we're, we're very close to getting things started. Uh, I know we have the Mayor of Calgary here, who's a huge hit and a huge fan of the sport, um, who's going to be blowing the inaugural whistle for the first jam. He got a pretty rousing reception himself. Yeah, he's the, the beloved mayor here in Calgary, Alberta, that's for sure. Just uh, doing their cheers, getting themselves ready to get a nice shot of the track. Canada in red with the white trim, Germany wearing black today. And there you can see the mayor of Calgary. He's even got his own derby name. <laughs> That's right, Purple Rain, our official uh, guest NSO. He will, of course, be blowing the first whistle for us in this incredible tournament. Which will get this game underway. This is not, uh, this is not a demo whistle. This is first jam, here we go. We've got the five seconds, everything. The whole enchilada. Listen, listen to this crowd go. Team Canada's first game here as Team Germany as well. 
Jam is on. Up to Jam first for Team Canada. We've got Elton Ant, and that is Charlie Scrapman for Team Germany. But Elton Ant picks up lead racing out of the pack. Charlie Scrapman made his way out. He's chasing him down. Now, Mac, I mentioned this to uh, Derby Nerd, our producer, before we got started. Um, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with Charlie Scraplin, a friend of mine, he skates for a uh, Suffolk Roller Derby back in the UK. Um, been skating around about two years, um, still pretty fresh, but has just taken to it like a duck to water. I just, um, based on that apex jump at the end of the jam, yeah. even though he didn't nail the points, he nailed that jump. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of agility and skill you, there. You're going to see a lot of that from Charlie Scraplin this weekend. Canada up, one nothing. jam number two underway. Canada's wall at the back doing a great job of holding up the German jammer right now, Blood, Blood Red Kelly. A couple of big hits taking people down. Some nice recycling from both sides. Brad Ass for Team Canada making it up, picking up lead once again. Easy pass on the inside, they're untouched to pick up five. Meanwhile, Blood Rock Kelly looking like he might go for the start loss, might do the stash. Uh, Canada's picked up on that stash pretty quick. They're working the pivot now. He's trying to make his way out at the front of the pack. Meanwhile, the Canadian Jammer's back in for another pass here in points. Looks like he's going to take another five. Again, finding the inside line, wide open, picks up another natural grand slam. Yeah, sleeper cell, Devno, stand aside, and uh, Jeff Tickhorn out there holding up that star pass, this entire jam, and making things very miserable. One last skater to pass, unfortunately, stand aside. Canada regroups at the front, no packs called. Still can't get that pivot out. Germany desperately wanted to get that star out of the pack. And Canada happy to hold on here and run this two-minute jam, getting full pulls every time. Another five points on the board and really stretching it out right now. Those Canadian blockers are shut, as I'm about to say, shutting down that <laughs> jammer. He makes his way out of the pack. Classic curse of the announcer. Well, that was at least a 30-plus point jam. Easily. And it was a one nothing jam. It was a 30-point jam there. The game started one nothing, a little shaky, a lot of people falling down, that nervous energy that's out on the track. And then jam number two, Canada seemed to lock it in. Back on the action. Just over 26 and a half minutes remaining of this game. David Noak jamming 14 Germany. Canada with their pivot heading to the box, but it doesn't make a line bit of difference. They jam out of the pack, third consecutive lead jammer status. That's Rice Ball up to jam. Fun fact for you, Mac uh, Rice Ball is Brad Ass's dad. <laughs> Keeping it in the Derby family. Father-son combination of the track, and that was Brad Ass that put up 30 the previous jam. Yep. Outstanding. I wonder who drove. <laughs> Canada getting some penalty trouble here. Massive pack advantage to Team Germany right now, but Ball does manage to make his way through that pack. Uh, Canada has the advantage of lead. Let's see if they're going to try and take some time off the clock, get a, get a couple bodies out of the box. We got small packs out there. Germany, no points again. Canada, good job on eating up some time and getting a body back on the track. And avoiding giving up track advantage. Well, they're going to a bit here, but stand aside Jeff Tickhorn out there with Zimmer. And for Germany, you can see number 10, that's Charlie Scrapman, as we talked about before. That's definitely the right jammer to have out in this situation. Most definitely. We just want to give a quick shout out to Brown Paper Tickets. Uh, Brown Paper Tickets has been supporting Roller Derby for over a decade. 
We love this sport and are working to help gear up Women's League in Lebanon. You can make a difference for Roller Derby Barut by visiting our donation page at GoGame at GotGame Need Gear at GroundPaperTickets.com. And Charlie Scrapman with the first lead of the game for Germany. You can hear the crowd cheering him on. Already getting back to the pack. Canada's jammer is out, but Germany's got a chance to put some or Germany has a chance to put some points on the board here. The German blockers slow it down a bit. Nice dance through that apex. Just as you were talking about. Yep. Scraplin had some absolutely phenomenal footwork. Um, you can see from his time training with Suffolk Roller Derby, them, them as a league, they're still relatively new. You can see how that training is interlocked with everything else. Um, and it's got to be a pretty incredible feeling being sort of this new to the sport, playing for his national team and putting first points on the board. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. and that, that's, that's, that makes the, the next four days alone for a skater. Absolutely. I know that having, having been fortunate enough to be on the coaching side for Team Canada, two World Cups, I know exactly what that feels like for a skater at the bench. That's fantastic. So we are into another active jam. Looking like Canada's picked up lead once again. Number four, Blood Red Kelly, still trying to make his way through the pack for Team Germany. And that's zero, Elton Ant up on his toe, stops along that inside line, picking up a natural grand slam. Oh, what a pass, Elton Ant. A little spin off one toe stop in the inside lane over the top of turn two down the straightaway. You just caught him there coming through on your screen. And the uh, German jammer is now in the penalty box for a cut, and it's a power jam for Team Canada. This potential to lay even more points on the board and continue to stretch out that lead. Elton Art sizing up that pack. Pack advantage to two Canada right now, four blockers plays three, and Elton Art once again with that nice backwards transition through the pack for another five. Yeah, he's a, that's a large, tall frame to stop when he decides to spin. Absolutely. <laughs> nice another. work by East, East Sider. Great job. He was getting picked off by Stand Aside. Did a great job of getting out of that block and giving the jammer some delay. But again, Canada through. Just the strength of their pack and jammers is really showing. Germany now with a depleted pack, losing two blockers to the box. Blood Red Kelly back on track, he has that star stashed in his hand. Another five point pass to complete. A 34 point jam. Wow. 34 point jam, amazing, amazing numbers being put on the board. Speaking of amazing, Quad Skate Shop, because we love this game. Quad is Europe's original brick and mortar roller derby skate shop with the best selection and most stock on the continent. We know skates, so you don't have to. Our customer service is the best on a level that only fellow skaters could provide. Come see us online or in store for all your derby needs. Hashtag Quad Berlin, that's Quad Skate Shop. Back on with the action, scores currently setting 75 points to Canada, four to Germany. Germany with a fresh jammer up, 1-3-3-7, three, three, big red. Going to see if he can make an impact on this game, nearly along on the inside there on turn one. Gets clipped off. Meanwhile, Canada picking up lead. Number 35, Brad Ass back up again. Also known as Rice Ball's dad. Yes. <laughs> Canada definitely wanted to keep that pack behind them. And clearly working on some technique here that they want to carry through the weekend. And, and just from last World Cup, I know they felt like they wanted an opportunity to play the U.S. in the final. And they unfortunately met the U.S. in, in the last bracket and ended up in that third position. So I know they want to go after it this time. Oh. Wow. I'd love to see that again. If you caught that on your screen, down the tape line. Uh, Brad Ass on one skate, maintaining his balance, getting his pass and his hips through, getting the points, and calling off the jam. Some pretty outstanding uh, work there by Rice Ball's dad. 89 to 4, 
10 minutes into this 30 minute game. Remember, these are the seeding bracket games all day today, 30 minute games. So hang on, pretend you're busy at work because every 30 minutes or every hour on the hour, there are games happening here at this World Cup event. Active jam. Beautiful work from Canada's jamming there. Uh, seeing that outside line open ever so slightly. Nice sort of fake out dodge. Makes his way through. It's number 403, rice ball. Meanwhile, Scrapplin for Germany is out again. Before he manages to make his way to the back, rice ball calling off the jam. Yeah, and I, I see Canada's mink keeping that set of stand and uh, stand aside and uh, tickborn together. Really good blocking combo because they block together and play together in Mur at Vancouver Murder mm. from uh, my home area. I've seen, I've coached with them, played with them, or not personally played with them, yeah. played against them. Fantastic skaters. Uh, Stan's got quite the skating history behind him. But those two together are, are work in synchronicity. Oh, that's the first big word of the Ooh. day. <laughs> 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 Take your bingo cards at home if you had synchronicity on your card. Number 23, David No jamming for Germany. Nearly threw on that outside big hit, takes him off, sets him back. Meanwhile, inside line, wide open for Canada. And I think it's, I think it's a really smart strategy by Germany to be playing star stash as soon as Canada gets the lead. As much as you've got eyes on that skater, the one moment of distraction it may create may get you out. So, change of fortune here, folks. Uh, Canada picking up a misconduct penalty of heading to the box, that's Zimmer. So we've now got power jam in favor of Germany. And now, now Germany wants to get that jammer out. This is a time they should be playing some harder offense. I don't think they should be trapping in the back. I think they should get into that red pack and keep them busy, keep them moving, get that, break up that wall. The walls are too strong at the front. Absolutely, there's, there's a time and a place for goating and I think yeah. this might not be it. Yeah, I don't think, well, there we go. I eat my words. <laughs> Everyone yelling at me on the feed can say, you're wrong, Mac. So of course, with no lead jammer, this jam will run for the full two minutes. And this is an opportunity for Germany to try and make an impact. But Zimmer back on track, entering the pack, sort of like in reverse. Zimmer came in really, really hard from the penalty box and spun and gave his back to the blocker, even though he knocked the blocker down because they both contacted their backs. It wasn't, it wasn't a, considered yeah. a back block. It was a pretty smart move to come into the pack that hard. There's a scoring pass for Germany. Five points, a grand slam for Germany. I've got a comment on a beautiful hit just there from 981. Uh, Rudy Cartel, uh, Zimmer going for that outside line again. Rudy, eye on him, managed to throw himself a huge body check, took him off, set him back. Look at the pack moving, it's just coming out of turn two, the whistles are blowing. You can see that shot down the straightaway in the crowd, the media uh, that's here today to enjoy this as we're live at the Acadia Recreation Complex for the Men's World Cup of Roller Derby. Germany managing another five point pass on that round. Nine to Germany, 94 to Canada now, just over 16 and a half minutes remaining of this 30 minute game. If you're wondering how penalties are working with these 30 minute games, it is five penalties for a foul out. Uh, so a slightly reduced uh, penalty rack up. And, and I believe teams each have one timeout, one one minute timeout. So, yes. yeah. Looks like Germany have potentially gone for the star pass straight off the line. No, it's a stash. And kudos, kudos to Germany for uh, switching things up. Don't get caught, try to get out of playing in Canada's game. And, Pass a star, mix it up, do what you can to keep that pack busy and get your jammer out. Nice knockout by Germany. Only two blockers working on that red jammer and they managed to push him out. And that's a large jammer that we talked about before. That's zero, Al Tanan. That was a hard pass for him when he was having an easy go on that 30 plus point jam earlier. I must admit, uh, harking my memory back to uh, Men's World Cup 2014, uh, Elton Ant did stand out. I do remember him vividly for his, his rather physical style and his, his dominant style. And, and also his seven foot tallness. Yeah, yeah that, that, that'll throw in there as well. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing a technique with the uh, 
But the Canadian jammers, they're turning. As soon as they come into the pack, they're completely flipping. If there's a set wall, they're turning and giving their back to that wall every time. Elton N at the back, fighting through the German blocks, taking the inside lane and out. German pivot, that's number four. Blood Red Kelly has the star stash in his hand, just, and, and Canada knows it. So they're shooting him like a jammer now, because he is. But all that star in his head. Altenant's going on another one of these pa multi pass uh, jams, and, and I'm sure Canada's happy to run the two minutes. Tanam once again finding that outside line, picks up another five. Believe that jam may have run for the full two. I think so, just judging by when you saw Tanam come out of that pack and take the, the, uh, the social escape, it was about the countdown was on that clock, yeah. it's paying attention to the time, no reason to burn the energy. And, and again, I would expect Canada to be um, at, uh, playing at this, this lead already in this game. This isn't to knock Germany, just where these two, t where these two uh, teams and leagues and, and are at and where they're coming into this from previous experience. It, it, I'm going to go ahead and say would, I was expecting a Canada to win. Um, <laughs> but, but we're early on in here, and kudos to Germany for already putting nine on the board. And I like how Germany's adjusted already. They've changed their play already. It's making it a lot harder for those Canadian jammers to get out. Absolutely. They just like, got to crack like that, that, right <laughs> that red wall, though. Uh, Germany once again going in, mixing it up. Fresh jammer in. Uh, has a jam before number three, Mahatma Bronson. Um, looking if he's looking at that pack, he's trying to make some work through there. Number 35. Radas, lead jammer, racking up the grand slams. But Mahatma Bronson has made his way out of the pack. He had his eye on that pack, looking to try and score some points. Brad saw him coming for the jam. Yeah, I mean, that was a much quicker, more strategic pass where the pivot was in a good position to take it and run versus the I don't want to do this, you take it, pass at the back of the pack. Those are never, coaches don't like those passes. We want those strategic, through the pack, pivot runs. Yeah. And I want my pivot to look like he's blocking until the moment that pack, that, that star gets near him and then run, not give it away. 124 to nine, Canada ahead of Germany. Jam 10, jam 11 just underway as we're well past the halfway point in this 30 minute game. Uh, Rice Ball and Charlie Scraplin, your active jammers for Canada and Germany, respectively. Scraplin taken off on that inside line, set right back past the jammer line. Meanwhile, Rice Ball picks up lead. Rice Ball up on his first scoring pass. Scraplin just clipped off, set back once again. Scraplin managing to get incredibly low underneath the, the hips of those blockers, nearly makes it all the way out of the pack, favoring that outside line, but just gets nicked off, taken back. Scraplin pushing hard against that wall, toe stops away along the inside line and makes his initial. Ball comes out the pack after another square and pass. See Scraplin just ahead of him goes, oh no you don't, pulls off that jam. Well, uh, as much as I hope you're enjoying the graphic at the bottom of your screen, we are, and also I hope you're enjoying Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016, because the Men's Roller Derby Association is excited to announce that it's 2016 championship. Team timeout called. And Team Canada is just going to keep the track here and talk about it. Team Germany, good, good timing, good plan for a timeout. So that last team timeout sponsored by S1 Pro Pads. Thank you very much for that, guys. Welcome back to the Acadia Recreation Complex in Calgary, Alberta. You are watching the Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016, the first game on track one. 
Canada versus Germany. We've got about 10 minutes left in this 30 minute game. Canada up 133 to 9. Snuggins. Up to jam, we have Zimmer for Team Canada, and that's number 23, David Noke for Team Germany. Again, some beautiful walls on display from both teams. Germany doing quite a good job right now of holding Noke back. And of course, as I say, he makes his initial. My mistake, holding Zimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Noak still trying to make his initial pass. Zimmer coming up on a scoring pass. Germany good. with quite a, a loose three wall, but doing a relatively good job of covering actually the whole track by yeah. kind of shifting across. Yeah, you can see they're doing a nice job with their two pair blocking and keeping a third skater ready to fill the, stay in that gap and not overcommit. Good battle and fight there. That was a good 15, 20 second hold before they could get those points and call it. Nice work by Germany there. I mean, this is probably a, a fairly uh, tough start for Germany um, in the tournament, but it's a, it's, it's a, in my opinion, it's a good way to start because I've lost my words. Now, uh, you know what? I've been in this exact position where the first draw in a tournament for us, the next game was Texas. And I'm like, okay, we're not going to win this game, yeah. but we're going to go in and get everything out of this game. Because that actually propelled us the rest of the Absolutely. tournament. Thank you. And you can weigh on that and go, you know what? Is it worse than before? No, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> So back into another jam. Number three, Mahat Bronson, up to jam for Germany. Oh, and he's up at the front. They've cycled Tenet to the El Tenet to the back. But El Tenet battling his way through. That's just a big, big man to hold. He's knocked out of turn two. He's come back onto the track. He's knocked out again. Great work at the front of the pack. That three set for Germany. Fantastic job. They're still working on him. He's got lead. He got his hips out before he got on that pack. and skates past this El Tenet. Absolute kudos to Team Germany managing to hold uh, Elton out for over 30 seconds. Um, I, I can't commend them enough. Um, and understandably, they want to do that. Tenant currently sitting on 60, scoring 60 points so far in this game. If you can shut him down, that's going to make all the difference. Yeah. And uh, trust me, other teams that have uh, additional coaches and watchers are making note about which skater on Canada they need to keep an eye on. No different than Charlie Scraplin for Germany. They all start, they all know each other, but they'll start taking notes about who's having success game to game. Absolutely. Had ourselves a little bit of jammer on jammer interaction uh, just at the end of that jam. Up next on track one is Wales versus Mexico at 10 a.m. It's amazing I get to say Wales versus Mexico at a derby tournament. It just blows me away. For those of you that are following Germany, uh, their next game is, where are they, Snuggins? On track two against Spain. At 12 noon, I believe. That's certainly how it looks to me. That was what it looks like to me. Canada's later today at 6 p.m. on track one. Oh no, sorry. Pardon me. One o'clock that Canada plays Mexico on track two. We'll get it. It's our first game too. So jam in action. Canada getting their jammer out, picking up lead. Germany did have the foremost jammer for a good couple of seconds. But the, uh, sort of the recycling of the movement of the pack propelled Canada's jam up forward. Uh, Brad has number 35. And then credit again to Germany's adjustment, because that's the third jam in a row where uh, the German uh, blockers have held that Canadian jammer, but just haven't managed to get, get theirs out. And a, a penalty box uh, sit by the jammer for Canada, which is a power jam for Germany, and Germany has a successful star pass. Gets that star out of the pack, and that's 308. Is that Baltic Bastard with the it star? Is indeed. Haven't seen him with the star on his helmet yet today, but it looks like, in, in, in my opinion, maybe he should do a little bit more. He's yeah. quite a physical player. Um, obviously, you can see the benefits from him blocking, but he's really attacking that wall quite ferociously, and he's got the build to really go against those Canadian blockers. Yeah, and and. Again, this is just my critique as a coach. I would be attacking that red wall right now because I want points. I know the jammer was returning, but there was about an eight second period there where uh, Bastard's getting gassed and I would be throwing massive offense to that red wall because what have you got to lose now other than picking up much needed points because point differential counts as the day progresses, Absolutely. right? Canada and Germany both losing a blocker, three on three pack. 
Both jammers really stuck in there, trying to make their way through. And again, this is my, my role for the weekend, Curse of the Announcer. <laughs> Time runs out on that jam, five points picked up. Nice work by Germany. Also, the point parade in the first 15 minutes has dropped dramatically for Canada, and that again speaks to what Germany's adjusted to. Uh, they're, they're blocking much better as a unit on these Canadian jammers. Um, they've really slowed that point differential down actually quite a bit. 152 for Canada, 14 for Germany. Uh, four and a half minutes left in our first game, first 30 minute game here at the Men's World Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. And we've got Rice Ball and Charlie Scraplin up to jam for you. For your uh, visual players. Germany losing a blocker to the box. Rice Ball with one less blocker to uh, contend with, makes his way through for his initial. Meanwhile, Charlie Scraplin uh, really using his edges and working his way across the track, laterally trying to find a gap in the pack. Interesting that. Oh, uh, sorry, that no, was no. beautiful. <laughs> Go. Uh, Scraplin going for the outside line. Uh, number four trying to shut him down, stand aside, um, really get his hips out. Did, I think he just kind of clipped Scraplin. Scraplin went for a one foot glide, kind of wobbled his way along the outside, kept it, made his initial. As I was talking earlier about the Men's Roller Derby Association, is excited to announce that its 2016 championships will be held in Texas. The Lone Star Showdown will be held at the NITEC Sports Center in beautiful North Richard Hills, Texas, October 15th to 16th, 2016. It'll be hosted by the Texas Men's Roller Derby. This two-day single track event will feature the top 10 ranked MRDA teams as determined by the MRDA. Visit champs.mrda.org for more information. I look forward to seeing that, but right now I'm thoroughly enjoying seeing the action we've got ahead of us on the screen. So, jam started um, just along as we were reading our uh, sponsors. Canada with a jammer in the penalty box, cutting penalty issue there. Another power jam in favour of Germany. Number 23, David Noke, has had uh, some, some reasonable success so far in this game. And I think to Germany's advantage, Zimmer's back on the track as their pivot coming out of the penalty box. So it opens up some advantage here to stash it a run. Nice run, picks up lead down that inside lane. Excellent job there by Germany opening up lane one on the back straightaway. Only two Canadian blockers on track right now. David Noak's got to be happy. This is the second lead jammer uh, status issued to Team Germany so far in this game. Nope, going for the inside line, possibly going for an apex jump. Didn't quite land it. In control as lead, pulls off the jab. Yeah, Beganic, the uh, other tall redwood out there for Team Canada wearing the pivot stripe. Great block to knock that jammer out and force him back at the end of that jam. As we're under two minutes here, game one. Well, game one of two, because there's one on track two as we speak. Absolutely. Right? I believe over on track two, we have Australia and Belgium. No updates. <laughs> Jam is on. Altanak back wearing the uh, Maple Leaf Star for Team Canada. Just squeezing his way on the inside line to pick up lead. And I think if Altanak has lead and has the jams he's been having, Team Canada may just be happy to run this out. Absolutely. his way through for a five point pass. Got a real kind of scrum style pack um, on track. Everyone kind of really pulling together and making things very difficult for each other. Yeah. Except Elton on, of course. <laughs> it's just, yeah. It's, Seems he's got to the find ground the clearance, path. he can just see. He's yeah. like, I'll pick that spot over there. Nice turn with his back again, bounces out, skates out of that turn, helps it up with another grand slam. Germany hits the reset here, gets their three together at the front of that pack. Canada's sitting back, waiting. They're gonna launch, launch some offense. Stand the side at the back of the pack there, knocking another German skater. Canada doing a good job of keeping the German blockers separated. Now they're setting up at the back. 
As the period clock is down to 10 seconds, El Tenant's on the outside of that turn. Big hit. Walker takes an extra breath to get back onto the track from Germany. He's got a star stash. There's some tired skaters out there. The German bench is standing and cheering as they fight through this last jam. As Tickborn and stand aside, wear down the German team. As did Team Canada, the whistle blows. I'm gonna go on the limb and say that's close to an official final. Oh my son. <laughs> Canada 186, Germany 19. Um, as I, you know, as I expected to see. What did you think, Snook? What were you expecting? Uh, you may have seen some of the German skaters or team members of Team Germany that I haven't seen recently. So, from your um, perspective, I was expecting a physical game, which we of course got. Um, I was like you, expecting Canada to take the win. But what was really refreshing was seeing Team Germany really developing as the game progressed and changing up their tactics, um, switching in, trying some different jammers to, to, to good effect um, yeah. for, for the most part. Um, and it was really interesting seeing them sort of coming together because of course, like many teams that we're seeing here, um, they won't necessarily have all been able to train together on a regular basis in the run up to this due to geography. Um, but it's, I think we're going to see a lot of this today, um, possibly moving slightly into tomorrow, the teams really kind of clicking and figuring out where they work with each other on track. Yeah, and I, you know what, Germany looked to pick up their energy as the game went on and kind of get dialed in. We saw the nerves of the first couple jams, both teams. That first jam was a 1-0 jam and more skaters laying down than skating because it was just yeah. scrambling. It's that nervous energy, but Canada locked into their game. And, it, and their walls are their game. I mean, they've got the, those tree trunk jammers they can put out there, and they've got some other jammers because this is 14 of a roster of 20. Yep. So we don't know if they played their their roster for a, a different opponent. Absolutely, right? we have no idea who they're holding back. Yep. And they're hiding behind the bench somewhere in the weeds. Yeah, just, just, just watching. <laughs> but uh, an impressive day for El Tenet, absolutely. Uh, I mean, Elton Ant, if we're talking statistically, picked up 100% lead jammer statuses. 89 points put on the board of the 186 um, owned by Canada. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, kudos also to Noak. Um, picked up 10 points, picked up lead. Um, I think we're going to see more of him jamming as the tournament progresses. And yet, statistically, they both scored 50% of their team's points. And that speaks to the strength and skill of those skaters. It's not about how many points, it's the no. percentage of points. Yeah. I'm an analytics guy. I'm going to go and tell my team, you got 50% of our points. Awesome Absolutely. job. And, I mean, it's not necessarily a statistical thing or a sort of a, a brains thing, but we've just been able to see teams doing a nice little quick lap of honor, a nice high five, and it's, it's a really nice atmosphere here as we, we get the day rolling. As so, you get a shot of a track one here at the Acadia Recreation Complex in Calgary, Alberta, as game one of day one of the uh, Men's World Cup of Roller Derby 2016 continues. Next up on this track will be Wales and Mexico. Um, one, I didn't know uh, Wales could skate as in turn of the amphibious oh. creature. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry you Welsh fans out there. I'm just making fun and filling time. Um. <laughs> I've, I've got to be honest, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this game. Uh, uh, that I the league that I'm from, Milton Keynes Roller Derby, back in the UK. Uh, we have one of our skaters uh, skating for Team Wales, Martin Swift, number 26. Fantastic. Um, big shout out to uh, to him, his wife, Jenny Swift, and their two beautiful children. Um, Which I heard the screaming. Okay, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm incredibly excited to see him. Um, and if I hark back to the Four Nations tournament that we hosted in the UK uh, last November, um, Wales put on a really top-notch performance, um, really showed that they're, they're here to make an impression. So I believe we're going to throw it back to the studio. Um, I've been Snugans. I'm Mac the Mouth. And we will see you as this progresses. Thanks very much.
Okay, right, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Hanna. Uh, we just had the first game on track one with Team Canada taking the win over Team Germany from 186 to 19. I'm joined by Reaper from Team England. Hey, I'm Julian. <laughs> How's everything going? Yeah, it's going really well. Glad to be here and glad to be back with the team and just doing our thing. So. How was the journey? Short and yeah, it was good. Yeah, nice when, when did you arrive? Got in Tuesday lunchtime, about midday, and then just shot straight down here for training with the boys. So. You managed to get a lot in? I joined one session, but no, it's, it's good. We had a session yesterday, played Australia as well, and no, it's going well. So, cool. looking forward to it. Awesome. Your first game today is against Team Sweden. How do you feel going into that? Yeah, you know, confident that we can do our thing, just make sure we're playing the way that we've been training over the last year and a bit. Just not too confident, you know, never underestimate the other teams because they can pull off anything, you never know. So. Do you have any feelings about any other teams? Um, Argentina, who we're going to play later today, um, they came out of a very small team last time and they, they're strong. I, I wouldn't underestimate them, this is going to be a good game to watch. So They're yeah. pretty ferocious. Pardon? They're pretty ferocious. Yeah, they're uh, a strong group of lads and now they've got a full team man team. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, being unleashed on them and see what I they think, can do. Yeah, the advantage you guys is uh, that you have is experience. You, you guys have played together for a long time, you've been doing this, but we saw some incredible things in 2014 yeah. from them, so... Yeah, their, their backgrounds, they can... They're a very good group of skaters, I think. I've not seen them play this year, but they probably are going to be an amazing team. They're probably going to be one to watch. And I think they're just going to do nothing but progress through this tournament, so... Any, any games in particular that you're really looking forward to? Um, yeah, you know, like it was last time we played, we didn't play them, unfortunately, it was Canada. If, if we can get to that point in the tournament and get to play Canada, I think that's going to be a good game. Like Everyone wanted to see it. It unfortunately didn't happen, but I think it's that game that needs to happen and I think both teams are looking forward to it. Awesome. So any games in particular you want to watch? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Every game. How often do you get to watch this much men's derby at this level? So Yeah, unfortunately we've got two tracks and you can't split yourself between the two, but we've got all the action online and um, hopefully everybody will have a chance to catch up. The next game that we've got here on track one is going to be Wales versus Mexo Mexico. We've got Australia playing Belgium over on track two. The score as it stands at the minute is 31 to Belgium, 196 to Australia, and they've just got seconds left of gameplay on the clock. I think we are going to be ready to go over to the track real soon, so we're going to hand over to the announcers over there. Thank you people for joining us. Thank you very much. Nerd Roller Skates is your dedicated quad roller skate shop in Calgary, Alberta. Being a nerd is about being really excited and really passionate about a really specific thing. And the thing that we are really excited and passionate about is roller skates. Nerd Roller Skates. Official skate shop, Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. For people who roll. I am your fortress on the front line of sport. Engineered to be stronger than the attack. I defy convention by protecting more with less. Helping you breathe easier, hydrate faster, speak more clearly. I am Sisu. And I fend for you.
¿sí? We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left.
We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left. Penetrating the heart, calling up the jam till the next jam starts. <laughs> 